It is happening a lot these days. Buyers are getting cold feet even after being desperate to win a property. I can explain why, but I also want to explain how not to get cold feet as a home buyer in this crazy market. So the reason that buyers are getting cold feet is because they feel so much pressure to finally win, maybe lost five, six, seven, eight offers, and you just want to win. But sometimes when you finally win, then you start questioning, well, I wonder what everybody else did. And that's a terrible position to be in. The only thing that you want to feel when you finally win the house that you've taken the time to make a bid on is happiness. And if you're starting to judge that happiness right away, we need to back up the process and figure out where things went wrong. My name is Jonathan Green. I run a big team called Streamline Properties on Market, a brokered by eXp Realty. And part of what we do is counsel home buyers well in advance to make sure that they're very well prepared for making offers and accepting the consequences of either losing or winning an offer. You would think in a crazy market that winning is easy, but it's not. Because when you win and you've bid X amount over asking, it's natural to feel like, well, I wonder if we could have gotten it for less. But you, you can't do that. Because if you do that, you're playing mind games with the process. You never know who you're bidding against. You're never going to find out how much more you bid than the person under you. These are things that you can't control. So your final bid should be the most amount that you're comfortable with based on the data and the amount that you love the house where you wouldn't be upset if someone bid 1,000 or 5,000 more and you lost. You would look at yourselves and say, that was our top number. If somebody wants to go higher, good job by them, but this was our complete number. But the only way that you can get to that number is if your real estate agent is providing you enough data, guidance, expertise, and advice to make sure that you're making the best offer possible. We can't make the offer for you. We can't choose the number for you. We can only give you data to help you decide on what the best number for you is. We can show you comparable sales to tell you like what around the appraisal range is. And speaking of appraisals, that's part of the problem. As buyers get into waiving more things, there's a higher chance of buyer's remorse because they've given up part of their rights. So then they win and they think, well, now what happens if there are inspection issues? So we counsel our buyers, we use limiting provisions, but we're trying not to waive anything. And we explain to the listing agent and or sellers why. We're just trying to protect our clients. We're looking for a smooth transaction, but also not interested in giving up all of our rights, even in a hot market just to win, because I know, and the agents on my team know, that that creates the possibility of buyer's remorse, which means cold feet. It means you win a deal. We're all celebrating, yes, we won. You start questioning things and then you wanna get out of the deal. It makes you look bad. It makes us look bad. It fractures the relationship between agent and buyer because we just did all these things to finally get the deal and then the buyer's ready to opt out. So how not to get cold feet is to be prepared, understand how the process works, Know that you're never gonna know when you win what the person under you bid, so don't even worry about it. You're not gonna find out. If you do, it's probably not correct. So what's the big deal? You have to know that your number is your number. And if you get it for that number, great job. Let's move forward right away, get into attorney review, get into home inspections, and get this puppy closed. A part of also not getting cold feet is having enough data to make a strong judgment as to what would a best offer be. So what we provide on my team is we provide you an automated value, which shows you the value of the home that you're bidding on. It also shows you a range from X to Y with a level of confidence between one and five out of five. So if you have five out of five stars, that's high level of confidence. We're also going to take a picture of the block values in the area. So you'll get a screenshot of maybe 50 homes around the home that you're bidding on. So you can see what the neighborhood looks like. So if you're bidding 500 and you see a bunch of 650s on the block, maybe you need to go up or maybe you know like, well, when I add to this property, I have room to reach those values too. You never want to be the highest priced property on your block. And if you are, better be real nice. And the last thing that we're going to send you is comparable sales that match the bedrooms and baths. 
They also match within a quarter to a half mile, and they also match three months back. If those things aren't available, we'll go back a little further, maybe go out a little wider on the, on the uh, miles. But that's the best way for you as a home buyer to get all the information and then be able to send us over like, we're thinking we're gonna bid 620. How does that look? I can never tell you because I don't know who we're bidding against. I can tell you whether or not I think it's a strong offer based on the market. I can't tell you whether you're gonna win. But listen, if you're in the market to buy a home now, do these things in advance to prevent yourself from getting cold feet. Because the problem is what's gonna happen is then you're gonna get cold feet about the cold feet and wish that you didn't back out of the only deal that you won after 10. And then you have to go back to the woodshed and try 10 more deals just to get in the same spot. Have a great day.